How can I help you? Did you just get a dumb letter from Malice? A little caution can't hurt. Though, free to venture northward isn't exactly covert language. I just spoke with Malice. Whatever's happening isn't a spring thaw. We need all of you back here, now. Why can't Malice just say that? Why does everyone in Ash talk like they're reading bad code and poetry? It's standard operating procedure. The beachhead by the river. Meet us there. Couldn't have mentioned she was standing right next to you, Cree. No way to fit that in there. We'll see you on the beachhead, Commander. Agents, did they, uh, did they see him up there? Ryland? No. Your cub's been a bit of a ghost since the, uh, peace negotiation. Commander, as I'm sure you've noticed, the giant glacier blocking our way north has disappeared. How'd it melt so fast? It didn't melt. It retreated, revealing a cave at the far end of the beach. Now, we have an opening. Not yet we don't. The cave isn't wide enough to accommodate Smoter's heavy artillery. We need to make our opening. So, how are we supposed to do that? Without bringing Vanguard's whole army down on us. Malice? You'll be going incognito, using one of our disguise tonics. Here's the plan. Our first order of business is to clear away these siege cannons. We could hit those ammo crates. Should take care of the cannons. Dominion's got some ordnance you can borrow. Plant the charges, then detonate them on the far end of the beach. They'll probably notice that. You'll be behind their patrols by then. Assuming you don't get caught. My agents will be waiting ahead to help you clear the path to the caves. Once you've opened the path, Smoter can get his toys behind enemy lines. We'll all rendezvous at our camp in the cave. I'll get my agents into position. Good luck. Okay, we'll... Wait. Malice? Where did she go? 
No idea, but that was pretty cool. Let's get down there and take out those cannons. Right. We should try to avoid open conflict until we do. Ritlock? Did I say anything? I've got the disguise tonics. Let me know when you're ready, Commander. Once we're in disguise, we head down to the beach and plant charges next to those siege cannons. We blow the charges, then work with Malice's agents to clear a path for our troops and for Smoter siege engines. We've been holding the line, but it's hard to call that a victory. This new Frost Legion changes everything. Vangar is going to wake the Ice Dragon. He's betrayed the Char. We need to push north and stop him. All right. We'll need to move quickly and quietly. Let's go. Ooh. This is weird. Shh. Pipe down. Keep a low profile. Ritlock. Did I say anything? First cannon. Well, watch your back, Commander. So that's winning for me. Until Vanguard's planted flags in all three Imperator skulls, we have it. Okay, that's one. Your idea of success is very specific. And just you wait till the Frost Legion shows up. Legion to end all legions. It's gonna be a bloodbath. More guards on this one. Be careful, Commander. All right, almost there. Keep it up. Let's try this again. Surprise!
this again. Got them before they could call in reinforcements. We got lucky. Is this far Let's enough? Get to a safe distance. I don't know. It looks like spirits. That was loud. Okay. Looks like we're clear. You make a lot of noise, Commander. Makes you easy to find. Next time. Char. That was not Char. Never called him that. We're gonna what stop have you this. done? Bet your ass we are. Hey, 
You're Malice's agent. You were behind the line. What's the situation up there? It's bad. Vanguard's Dominion is being converted into Frost Legion at an industrial scale. Where is this happening? How do we stop it? There's a garrison of ice sitting over some Norn ruins. That's where the char are being turned. Jormag is there. Then we shouldn't waste any time. Malice said you've got a camp farther inside. It's a work in progress. Actually, first we need to clear away the rest of these ice barricades. Hence, the flamethrower. Exactly. It's very effective against... you know... ice. Anyway, once those ice barricades are gone, you can head straight into the camp. Malice is expecting you. the closer we get to Jormax Key. Right. Bring him on. Glad that's over. Nice work on the beach. With those cannons gone, we finally got our foothold. Your agent told us about the garrison to the north. That Bangar's turning his army into Frost Legion. Tribune Doomforge. Bangar says when enough are converted, Jormak will wake. Thought he was crazy. Then the ice moved. Why would Bangar convert his whole army into Frost Legion? What if it's not Bangar calling the shots? 
We need to shut this down. Now. If Jormag's waiting for Bangar to deliver an army... Then we'll destroy the army. How fast can we get Smoter and his siege engines up here? I sent out the invitation before we even started. But we should be proactive. Yeah. Commander, I'm gonna check out those Norn ruins near the keep. Might be a way in under there. Good idea. And while we're gathering our forces here, we'll start chipping away at Bangar's line. Ember Doomforge. I was part of the group that went after the Claw, the Connor. Seems so long ago. Commander, I wanted to thank you. Elmora was my granddam. Because of you, I know the truth. What happened to her? Bangar killed Almora. And now we're going to kill Bangar. Now and always. And when my Imperator told me about this op, I wanted in. Needed in. After what Bangar did to Amora, the Vigil's turning its focus from dragons to Blood Legion Imperators. Well, just the one, really. Javi's mopping things up in Biora Marches, and Larenthir's getting up to speed. He was in the Grove when Amora... <sighs> Sorry. We all hoped things would get back to normal after Croc. But maybe this is the new normal. Commander, Ram went on to explore those Norn ruins. They're up ahead, end of the cave tunnel. All right, I'm going to follow him. Could be our way inside that keep. Good idea. I'll go with you. No, you'll stay right here. <laughs> You're wasting your time. When my cannons are ready, we'll walk right in. Through what's left of the front door. At which point, Rylan will take you out, because that's literally the most obvious thing you could do. Let him try. Next time I see him, there won't be a flame shield between us. No, there won't. Let me guess. Trouble. Smart, Bran. Ducking out before the sparks started to fly. They're all focused on Bangar and the Frost Legion. Good char. I get it. But... I kill Dromag, or Dromag kills me. I don't know. I still have that ends. I am. Figured. Thanks, Commander. These are the spirits of the wild. Bram, what is this place? This is where the spirits first revealed themselves to the Norn. I can feel them. All of them. Like the charge in the air before a storm. I've never felt anything like it. Can you talk to the spirits? Like in Bura Marches. If they opened this door, we'd have a straight shot to Jormag. The spirits are... They're here, but they're restrained somehow. Something's wrong. Commander, learn anything about the ruins? It's a temple honoring the spirits of the wild. There's magic here. Powerful magic. Guess now we know why Jormag picked this place to hunker down after Tiny's machine conked him out. Can you get that big door open? Let's find out. Great spirits, I am Bram, Norn of Prophecy. Please grant us passage to this most sacred of temples. Okay, so that was a long shot. I'll need more time to figure this out. While you're doing that, I could use the Commander's help. Malice just gave me a list of targets. Anything I can do to ruin Vanguard's day. 
What have you got? Transmitter towers. Dominion's using them to triangulate targets for their artillery. Malice's agents are finding more targets. I'll send them over once the transmitters are gone. That ice storm is surrounding the keep. You need to get out of there before you all freeze to death. Hey, Commander. Any updates on our big stone door? Well, I can't speak with Wolf, Snow Leopard, Bear, or Raven. I feel their magic, but they're not responding. It's not enough to open the door. I think I'll need to channel the magic from... Good work, Commander. Should make the assault easier, without constantly having to worry about death from above. Still plenty of that. Good work, Commander. Should make the assault easier, without constantly having to worry about death from above. Still plenty of that. Maybe you noticed the Claw of Jormag flying around? Yeah, hard to miss. We still need some time to prep our forces. In the meantime, you up for some more sabotage? I think I can squeeze it into my schedule. Fight 
which are above all. We're preparing a frontal assault on the keep, but I hear your friends are considering an alternative. We're considering anything that will work. If Bram can get this door open... And if he can't, what do we do? Sit on our tails while he solves puzzles? With all due respect... Imperator, we'll discuss this in person once I'm done out here. You're damn right we will. Quite adept at mayhem, Commander. You ought to think about transferring into it full time. Thanks. Where are we on preparations? Smoter and Bram have uh, almost call them conflicting opinions on how exactly we're gonna kick Bangor's ass. That's an understatement. Come back to base. You might need to break the log jam. <sighs> you don't say. What are you up to? Not killing Smoter. <sighs> Not bad, huh? He and Bram are going toe-to-toe -to -toe on strategy. Neither one's a bad plan by our standards, but we were this close. This close to getting Ryland back. I know. So, yeah. Not killing Smoter. Harder than it looks. Again, look, I I'm not saying my idea is perfect, but... You want to take the Commander and a strike team through the Norn ruins under the keep? Yeah, then we go straight up to Bangar and take him out before he wakes up Jormag. Have you even opened the door to the ruins? Well, not yet. We need the Commander with us on the front lines. I am going to stop Bangar, and you are going to help me. Bram, how close are you to opening the door? Close. The spirits are there, and the carvings clearly say their magic is what opens the way. But you haven't been able to talk with them, or else they would have let you in by now. Commander, we can't wait for this... magic. My siege engines are ready. Let's kick in the front door. The spirits of the wild. Their magic channeled through the runes around the door. I've been trying to get wolf, raven, leopard, and bear to answer. But I think they're keeping their distance. Maybe for good reason. Maybe. But we haven't exhausted our options yet. Yeah. If the other spirits won't answer, maybe they will. It worked back at Jakar Lake. Are they still corrupted? I can handle it. Don't get me wrong, Commander. I'm all about kicking in the door and blowing up the place. But this is Jormag's territory. Vanguard's got the advantage. Yes. No telling what surprises he's got waiting for us in there. This is what Iron trains for. This is what we do, Commander.
Frost Legion, Svanir, and Icebrood. Don't forget the claw of Jormag flying around out there. Stiff resistance, but I know Bangar's strategies like the back of my paw. Imperators study each other. Then that means Bangar knows your strategies too. He absolutely knows your strategies. And it will avail him nothing. I will end him, Commander. And you will help me. Your presence will send a message. To the legions. To Bangar. He'll see his time has come. What he'll see is all his enemies in the same place at the same time. We call that an opportunity. I call it fighting on the front lines, Sword Shadow. Something you don't know anything about. I think if that door was open, we'd be having a different conversation. But Jormag will wake up, and soon. Every second we argue is the second we give Bangar and the dragon. I think we should give Bram the time he needs. If we go all in, we put everyone at risk. We don't know enough about their defenses. We don't even know how many Frost Legion are in there. I don't like it. Smoter is confident. Maybe too confident. But this is what he does, for better or worse. The ruins under the keep might be a safer choice. But we'd be fools to think Bangar doesn't know about them. I'd never admit it to a stupid face. But Smoter's probably got the right idea. We can't just sit around. All right, Commander. What do you think? I think we... What is... <gasps> what? No! <gasps> Rylan, right we've sight. got every exit covered. Drop your weapons. You drop yours. This isn't a negotiation. Commander, get down! <clears throat> Funny. Incoming! Head on the swivel. They're Come everywhere. Them back. We can't let them take the camp! Damn it, Roiland! The portal, Brimstone! Focus! <laughs> you must like pain. Inconvenient. It's a lot more than that. How did Ryland find us? One of your double agents get caught? We've been blowing up their camps. Loudly. We knew this was bound to happen. Yeah, but not this soon. And not with a hole in Smoter's head. Doesn't change anything. It can't. Every second we stand here, more Frost Legion enter the field. Who's Iron second in command? Most likely Mia Kindleshot. Tribune. Smoter trusted her. She helped us fight Kral Katorik at Thunderhead Peaks. Where is she? Mm, not here. But we'll find her. No time. Ephraim, you worked pretty closely with Smoter and Iron south of the line. I did. Doesn't mean Iron will take orders from me. They saw you fight alongside Smoter. They respect you. 
I'll help you organize the rank and file. What should I do? If you can get that door open before we march, we'll go with your plan. But that's as long as we wait. Kreisha's right. The more we talk, the bigger the Frost Legion gets, and the closer Jormag is to waking up. We're not just fighting to stop Bangar. We're fighting for the future of all the Char. Bram? I won't let you down. Commander, meet you there. Talk to me about this door, Bram. How do we get it open? This place was built to honor all the spirits. The door can only open if enough of them are working together. The great spirits aren't talking, so we need the other spirits to help. I can feel them. Hare, Otter, Griffin. And is that Owl? Yeah. Jormag can talk about peace all they want. But the Norn will never forget Owl's sacrifice. Looks like there are three spirit totems missing. Any idea where those are? What did I just see? A shaman came from Holbrek, took the totems for Ox, Eagle, and Wolverine. Then he hid them. Shame, I guess. What you saw were the resting places of the three totems. Commander, I need you to find them and bring them back here. And what will you be doing? The lesser spirits don't know me. I need to prove I'm worthy like I did to the others. Speaking of which, they might test you. You know, before they let you pick up their totems. Bram, am I going to have to turn into an ox again? What? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. <sighs> Maybe. Bram? I don't know. You saw them at your car lake. They're not exactly right in the head. <sighs> Three totems. Three fickle spirits of the wild. What could go wrong?
you were with Erson back in the marches. There is great strength in you, and I, and I detest it. Do what you have to. I'm ready. You were the one who turned into ox, pulled offerings to my shrine back in the marches. But it is easy to prove your strength by transforming into the strongest spirit in the Pantheon. I want to see your true strength. I want to see what it takes to exhaust the famed Act Commander. Enemy tribute nearby. Get rid of them. So, so. your strength is no illusion. I am impressed, even with Jormag's bile coursing through my mind. Mighty commander has come for my totem. Are you, are, you, are you prepared to fight for the privilege? Only if you're prepared to give it to me when I win.
carry my idol. You must first carry yourself. Prove your valor. Act, Commander. <laughs> You're kidding, right? in, well, well, a long time. Thank, thank, thank you, Commander. I, I, I still feel Jormak's power coursing through me. A, a darkness I may never purge. That reminded me of better times. Ram, just got the second idol. How are things over there? Auto spirit was a little feisty, but I think everything's fine now. Just waiting on you. If you really think you can get that door open, Cree and I are coming with. Ephraim and the others will hit the front door. We'll go through the ruins. Stop Bangar, stop the Frost Legion. Save the Char from turning into Jormak's personal army. Damn right. Commander comes before me to shoulder my idol. But, but, but are you willing to prove yourself worthy? Uh, you are at least the 28th all-powerful entity to ask me that question. So yes, willing and ready. If, if, if you wish to carry my idol, take, take to the skies with me. Prove you can keep up with the mightiest of eagles.
Commander, you got a second. We could use your perspective on something. Uh... Yeah, you know what? You sound pretty busy. We got this. Just keep doing whatever it is you're doing. Exhilarating. It's, it's, it's been so long since I felt the thrill of the chase. Draw Mag still whispers to the darkness within me. I, I can never again be whole. But, but, but thanks to you, for a moment I remembered what it was to be a spirit of the wild. Go, go, go. Return, Return me to the Pantheon. Spirits give you any trouble? I got turned into an eagle. You get turned into a lot of stuff. Just... let's get on with it. Right. Go put those idols by Owl. Spirits of the Wild, I am Bram Erson, Norn of Prophecy. I ask for your wisdom, so I may enter this sacred place. Voices from beyond the mists call out to me. I hear them. I speak their words. I must first give in to valiant aggression. Know the strategies of your enemy so you can strike swiftly. Triumph comes only from sound strategy. And at the end, it was a steady, strong hand that made victory possible. When the spirits speak truth, the way will open. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> you get all that? I wrote it down. Four verses, four statues. Let's give it a shot. said you need all the other spirits' magic to open this door. Right. But the owl spirit is dead. How are you going to use its magic? This door was built when Owl was still alive. Maybe a piece of her magic is still here.
Commander, Kreisha, we're ready on the assault. Where are you? Just about ready. Bram, do we have it? I think so. I have the lesser spirit's power. Now we just need... Ox. There's Eagle. And Wolverine. That's it. That's... Wait. Owl? That's not... What... What did I do? What did you do? That magic. It wasn't a remnant of Owl. It was Owl. Jormag corrupted her, so she cut herself off from the mists. She came here, locked herself away, and I just brought her back. Jormag needed more magic to wake up. Now they have Owl again. Ephraim, Malice, the door's open. Go now. I repeat, go now. You heard the commander. Let's go kick in the front door. Commander, I'm sorry. I didn't... No time, Bram. You open this door, now walk through it. Right. The spirits are counting on us. The world is counting on us. And we won't let them down. Hey, come on. Pick up the pace. They're here. Bram, what is it? I know why Wolf and the other great spirits weren't answering me before. They're trapped here, in the keep. If Jormag corrupted them, Jormag would have more magic than they'd know what to do with. Then let's quit Gab and get up there and stop it! You think Ryland's up there? Don't know. But Bangar surely is. I'll cut eyes. If you're inside the keep, I recommend you covering your ears now. Door's still holding! Keep those eyes screwed off us! Ephraim! Again! Hit it again! For the legions! You gotta bring this whole place down! Get us inside! Oh, not good. Ephraim, Malice, are you through? Door's open. Cross doesn't look happy about that. Secure the ground level, then find a way up to us. You got it, Commander. Whitlock, if Ryland is there, do what we've got to do. Like pain. Understood. Yeah. yeah. Watch the ceiling. Pretty big entrance by Malice's standards. I'm sure she'll stab a few frost leaves. That's it. Calm down and think. Krisha, you can melt it. Damn right I can. Ritlock, Sahathan. We're doing this again? 
We're doing this again. Working. What do you mean it's not working? Jormak's power. It's stronger here. We need a stronger flame. Where are we supposed Ephraim. to- Ephraim! Ephraim, where are you? Looking for another way up. Where are you? You're about to find out. I was just thinking this place could use a skylight. Everyone, into position. There's an elder dragon beyond this wall. We'll be ready for whatever it throws at us. Yeah. We will. Yes, we will. Ephraim, Malice, as you can see, we've got a bit of a problem. One the Flame Imperator is uniquely qualified to mitigate. I am at the United Legion's disposal. Ritlock? Ephraim, it's so often with everything you've got. <laughs> Rangar, justice has arrived. Last chance to lay down your arms. Here we go. If you were hoping to take me by surprise, nice try. What are you doing to the spirits of the wild? What Jormag did to Drakkar, use its power to control the uncontrollable. Elder dragons want only magic. And the spirits are not. So, 
I'll convince them to share it with Ridlock. Go. Absorbing power from the spirits! Then let's cut him off! You can't stop this. The bow is leverage, nothing more. Now you want to corrupt the moon spirits, to wield their power against your mag. Seems you need a lot of leverage. Stand down! No, you're right, sir. These spirits do have a use. We need to free them! What do you think you're doing, Tribune? Waking up our dragon. It's not our dragon! Ryland, you have to stop! If Dwarvac wakes, there's no going back! Too late. You thought you had a chance? You thought you could kill Vanguard? You're kidding, Rat! Right? No! Tormak, your champion awaits. Champion? Well, you did gather my army. And so you will be rewarded.
Rise, voice of Jorlan. Voice of Jorlan. Jormag, I am Ryland Ryl Steelcatcher. I know you. A born leader who's waited your whole life for a role worthy of your talents. Yes. Your sire's ferocity, your dam's discipline, and all that rage seething under the surface. Yes. Yes. I see you, Ryland, and what you've wanted all along. I want to be your champion. Then rise, champion of your land. Ryland! What have you become? Come, champion. Now that I'm away. Things are set in motion. To the rest of you, I leave this gift. My voice. I told you we'd all talk to each other again soon. I look forward to our... Conversations. Oh. He's... Gone. What happened? Jormag's gone. Ryland, too. Ruin bringer. Oh. Oh, that caller's done something to his voice. What a shame. Place is coming apart. We need to get everyone out of here. What are we doing with him? He's Jormax now. Can't kill him. But I'm not letting him near the char. We'll take him to the Eye of the North, to Orin. She'll want to see this. May Balthazar strengthen you. This is bad. Even worse than you know. When Jormad woke, there was a great and terrible tremor. I could feel lay energy shifting, the world calling out. Don't like the sound of that. Orin, why didn't Jormag kill us? They had every chance in there. Unfortunately, we know as much of Jormag's motives now as we did before. So, nothing. We are at least consistent. What about our guest? It seems we have two. Jormag's presence is entwined with Bangar's. Jormag called Bangar their new voice. Are you in danger if we keep him here? All I know for certain is Jormag has a plan. And for the moment, they want us all alive. Lucky us. Stay vigilant, my champion. Your mad roams free. Tyria calls out in pain. This is going to get worse. I'll wait for Jormag. You must go and prepare this world for the fight to come. Jormag can bind their voice to living creatures. 
Speak through them from a great distance. You saw it with Drakkar and the Whisper of Jormag. Now they have chosen Bangar to serve in this role. His voice is no longer just his own. For now, at least, he is simply a vessel for Jormag. Jormag is welcome to try. But I'd like to think they're smarter than that. They may be sincere in saying that Bengar is meant as a gift. But Jormag never gives without expecting something in return. So rest assured, champion. I'll be watching the char very carefully. I don't believe that's their intent. But it is possible that through Bengar, Jormag could hear us. Or rather, it would be, if I hadn't magically bound Bengar's cage. Don't worry, champion. So long as he's in that cage, I will decide what Jormag hears. I wish I knew. I sense Jormag moving through Tyria. Taking advantage of the mists as Kralkatorik did. Yet, they choose neither to consume nor destroy. Pleasant change of pace, but disturbing nonetheless. That's my long way of saying I have no idea. I'm sorry, champion. He made his choice. Now he'll live with the consequences. He and Bangar both forced me to make my own choice. Who am I loyal to? My Imperator, my Legion, my blood. In the end, none of that matters. The Char were nearly destroyed. I can't let that happen again. In the watchful care of an Elder Dragon? I think it's safe. Many of us would have preferred a very public execution. But this... This is more... Poetic, I think. But if he causes any trouble, tell Aurene to let me know. I'll finish him off myself. We fought among ourselves countless times, but this... was nearly the last. We need stronger leadership. We can't let our hatred grow this strong again. Thanks, but nothing left to say. The whole time I thought he was choosing between us and Bangar. I had it all wrong. I guess it was always about him. If I'd have been here... Maybe I... Uh, probably not. Kree was here. Cinder, his warband, they believed in him. Didn't matter. He did what he was gonna do. Well, Kree's gonna need some help knocking heads together. A lot of bad blood to worry about. But you know, thinking about it, she's probably the best thing that could happen to the Char. And if helping her means avoiding another civil war, or war with Tyria, or turning into ice monsters, well, I'm sure as hell in. I just don't get it, Commander. Jormag could have killed me back there. They know one of us has to die. I kill Jormag, or Jormag kills me. That's what the Wolf Spirit said. But Jormag spared us. Why? Sorry, Commander. Can't let this change anything. It's just... I don't get it. Always thought he was... I don't know... better than that? Figured he'd turn on Bangar. But the rest of us, too? No coming back from where he's gone. Can't imagine what Ritlock and Kreesha are going through. <laughs> 